Now to transform it to gear work mode, the first thing we need to do is break it down into its individual components, as this is a part former. Now, we need to get these guys out of the way, and pull off the legs, like so, on their hip joint. Now in here you'll see there's a little piece of grey stuff, which is just a little piece to hold that unit in place. Now there's a little ball joint in there that pops off, like so. Then I need to pop its head off. And here we have pretty much the plane section. Again, this needs to pop off, and so does this. So as you can see, there is literally a big pile of parts for this transformation. Now we need to put on the undercarriage, so it's closed. So put it on the right way around, push it into place, like so. So then put on the nose cone. So we've got the front section of the plane complete. Now the next thing we need to do is put in the replacement head. You have to pop off the two antennae first, because it won't fit through the little hole where the head pops out, like here. So you place it in like so. And if you turn it over, you see it's in position, it's holding the back in place. Now you have to make sure you put the right one in the right side, otherwise they won't line up correctly on the back. That'd be a wee bit fiddly. Now underneath we have to put in the front part of the fuselage, like so. We also have to break down the hip further, so pulling off everything, which are pretty stiff. Now the replacement hip joint will go in like this, so we have to make sure we put on the legs on the right side. There we go. The next thing we need are the gear walk tabs. Now these guys are fairly tight to get in, so you have to push really hard to get them on. And they just don't want to go in. There we go. And again the other side. So I find spinning them around as you push them on helps. Gets them locked in. Next thing we want to do is put in the legs. Now make sure you put the right one on the right side. Yeah, that looks right. And there we go. So there we go, we're starting to get a bit of gear walk action. Now what we need to do is put the legs onto the main unit on the little tab. Now as we can see, the rear wings aren't in the correct position. So pop these guys off. and stick on the proper set, facing outwards. So it's just a little tab in. There we have it. Now the final piece missing from the back is the shield. Now we need to get the attachment, which is this wee jobby here. So as you can see, there's two little holes. They just push in like so. So then underneath, you just slide it in here, and we've got the back section in place. So to bring it to plane mode, we have to break it out into parts again. It's very fiddly. Make sure that's lined up. So now we need to pop off the undercarriage. So if we pop on our 007, like so, there we go, now we want to put on the other flap, the open flap, so that just slips in over here, get in, just about, like so, now we just need to put, you can see there's a big one and a small one, big one and a small one. And they just pop in like so. Now for the legs I find it easier to detach this again. So 
if you pop this forward it'll give you better access to get in there and pull this guy out and putting on the right leg it's the same thing again the other side just snap it into position and there we effectively have the undercarriage section so onto the arms we have two things we have to do first we have to remove the hands and put in the flat hands so karate chop action like so then we need to pull off the shoulder joint which is for the gear walk and batroid mode so we now need to pop on the plain one which is just sticks in like so so that's everything attached and finally we just need to push it down just to make sure the back is aligned up so now we have to attach it to the plane so we turn it upside down and push it in and line it up looks about right now that the arms are in place if we turn it over we need to make sure the hands are pushed together and pushed down and up like so to slip the shield on line it up like so top part in to go underneath make sure the hands are in the right place and then push it in now the only thing left to do is attach the legs now there's three little nubs here here and here and there's corresponding nubs on the undercarriage here here and there so if we just line everything up hopefully it'll all just clip together so you see in there tabs in same thing again the other side should just tab in from the side that looks good fold in it's tabbed in yes it is folded in so now we have the front landing carriage so if we pop this off makes it easier to pop this out get the replacement front landing carriage stick it on oops wrong way around stick it in like so Pop the nose back on and there we go everything is fully complete to mount the cannon underneath the plane the first thing you need to do is remove its handle like so as you can see there's a little section inside and we take our little doodah attachment here and plug it in like so now we now have the connector ready to stick underneath the plane as you can see just there in the center there's a little hole for this to attach into so the trick is to line it up push it in and there we go we now have the cannon held in place while it's in plane mode unfortunately my cannon is a little bent so uh, doesn't look the greatest